Yes, yes. God said in his word that his grace and his mercies are renewed towards our lives daily. So no matter what you do, where you been, get up and go forward. On my left and right, it's grace and mercy. I'ma get it right, cause grace and mercy. When I take a fall, it's grace and mercy that stands me tall. That's grace and mercy. Go up front and behind, it's grace and mercy. I stay on my mind. It's grace and mercy when I take a stand. It's grace and mercy doing all I can. That's grace and mercy. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Might as well join us because can't nobody be. Good evening, good evening, everyone. You're listening to the TMA Radio Broadcast. I'm your host, Pastor Africa, and we are just getting started on this evening. Hey, this evening we just want to recap on the live uh, interview we did with the founder and uh, organizer, Terry and candidate, Guns Down, Knowledge Up organization. So we'll be bringing, bringing you that live interview in just a little bit. So stay tuned and just enjoy. Hey man, I, I got my wife on uh, face chat. So she talking if you hear anybody in the background. That's her. And I'm putting on blast. All right, listen, I'll be right back with more. So stay tuned. That's grace and mercy Go up front and behind It's grace and mercy I stay on my mind It's grace and mercy When I take a stand It's grace and mercy Doing all I can That's grace and mercy To the good fight Welcome to the good side Tell the devil good night Prepare for a good ride Rolling with the kingdom Colonel, I can see them If God be for us Then who gonna beat them I don't see nobody See nobody rolling with the Holy Ghost, so it's that kind of party. Shifting in the atmosphere, get the devil out of here. Pulling down the strongholds, putting scriptures in your ear. Ain't no weapon for the gifts, ain't no weapon for the gifts. That's gonna prosper, Satan's roster just make no sense. Kill all the tactics, ain't no going back. What's moving forward with the Lord, and the Lord got this on my left and right. It's grace and mercy, now my get it right. Cause grace and mercy When I take a fall It's grace and mercy That stands me tall That's grace and mercy Go up front and behind It's grace and mercy I stay on my mind It's grace and mercy When I take a stand It's grace and mercy Doing all I can That's grace and mercy Welcome Holy Spirit Welcome Holy Spirit I can feel your presence So I know God hear it Prayers of the righteous Tearing up chains of the captive When we get it active Holy Ghost inside your soul If you ain't know you can have this Man, this is power Yes, this is power Over all the wilds of the devil Watch him cower Man, Satan gotta flee Check the devil off of me Put him under my feet So deep that he cannot see Nothing's gonna hinder Christ is the center Of our joy Oh boy, we a winner On my left and right it's grace and mercy, y'all might get it right Cause grace and mercy, when I take a fall It's grace and mercy, that stands me tall That's grace and mercy, go up front and behind It's grace and mercy, I stay on my mind It's grace and mercy, when I take a stand It's grace and mercy, doing all I can That's grace and mercy Right, Monday, Monday evening edition of the Tim A Radio Broadcast. We're going to be recapping on the live interview we did in the downtown Lewisburg area uh, just a few days ago. Hey, Amen. And uh, Friday, matter of fact, this past Friday, uh, we met with uh, founder uh, Dorian Kennedy, uh, Guns Down, Knowledge Up organization. He needs support. And we had over 2,000 people to view the live uh, coverage that we did downtown. Now, that would be so wonderful to have all of those people that was able to view uh, what we was talking about and what the organization is about. It would be nice if everyone would buy a ticket. I have tickets, so you need to come by the barbershop, South End Barbershop, and get your tickets. But it would be so nice if everyone would purchase a ticket 
and uh, this nonprofit organization is trying to help the young children in this in this community all over Franklin County and trying to get them something to do um, trying to also educate our young teenage boys that there are alternatives uh, rather than picking up a gun and try and taking a life and so we're just so thankful to be able to uh, to to be able to just do our little part amen you know we might not everyone might not can do xyz but i believe that we can do something amen i believe that we can do something so uh we'll go ahead on right now and go to the interview for those that are tuned in by the way of radio god bless you on the tma radio broadcast today we have gary and crudup the founder of of guns down knowledge up and we're just uh here sitting downtown lewisburg you see his shirt promoting a non-violence also promoting something for our young people our young black children don't, that don't have any place to go or anything to do in the community uh so today i would just want to uh ask him a few things of how did it how did it come about you starting this organization well when it first started everybody know about all the senseless murders going on around here man senseless acts of violence when we lost my little cousin, Don Finley, man, to a situation that could have been completely avoided I mean, if the situation was different. Mm -hmm. Certain people was there to talk to him, and talk some sense into him, man, let him know that it's a different way to go about things. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. well, pretty much, that's the reason why I started it, pretty much. Amen, amen. And uh, again, uh, that's guns down, knowledge up, brothers and sisters. You see this is uh, what's needed in the community, a young brother uh, here in the city that see the violence, see the, uh, the shape that the community in, the town of Lewisburg, the county of Lewisburg. Uh, we need a change, brothers and sisters. So uh, organization he started because of what we see, we witness it, you witness it. You see all the things, all, we got family members that have been affected with uh, gun violence, but at the same time, we have no programs to help our young people. Uh, so, brother, tell tell us a little bit more about your organization of uh, Guns Down and uh, Knowledge Up. Okay, okay. First, I'll just like to start off my mission statement. If you, if you know my mission, you're pretty grasp on what I'm trying to do. But the nonprofit Guns Down Knowledge Up organization was founded by myself in July 2017. Our mission is to transform our culture of violence by educating, inspiring, and mobilizing a community to create real change. Our main focus are the youth and to keep them on the correct path. We believe when you change a child's life, you change a family, which can change the community and ultimately the world. So we're pretty much just trying to bring back programs, you know what I'm saying? Summer camps for the kids. Something for them to do, like, we got a whole boys and girls club over there that's not being utilized right. because it's no fun. Right. And you mean to tell me this town ain't got no money to fund that? That's right. crazy. That's absurd. That's real crazy. Right. And this is what we've been talking about on the TMA Radio broadcast. We have monies, but it's not being used to, to help build and create a better community. You know, our children are our future, but if we don't put a future in their in their existence, they will not survive. Right. And we see that, that the kids are going to act in what they are surrounded. And if they are surrounded by uh, not having and then the, the, the violence of the guns in the street, then that's what they turn to because they have no alternative. We have to create an alternative for our young people. Right. We have to, brothers and sisters. And so, uh, again, we want to uh, bring this uh, organization to your awareness uh, that... There is some people trying to do positive. There's a brother here, and he got some foot soldiers that are going out, handing out flyers. Uh, they, they, they got their first annual uh, uh, fish and chicken uh, plate sale coming up August the 6th. 4th, 4th. August, August the 4th. Yeah, August 4th. And uh, what they want to do is put back in the community. It's easy for us to talk about doing right. something, but when, when it's time for you to put up and, and do your part, what, well, will you do your part? That's what I want to ask the citizens of Franklin County today. You know, so many times you talk about, we see the young boys in the community doing these bad things, but will you sow a seed? Will you come out and help rake a yard? Will, right. you, will you put paintbrush? 
questions. Will you uh, finance, finance the Boys and Girls Club for our young kids? Will you put up a sprinkler system oh. so the kids will be able to have something to do? It's easy for us to talk about the negative, but what about adding the positive? When are you going to put a positive in the play? Right. Yes, we see uh, people being torn down. Yes, we see drugs. Yes, we see violence. But are you just talking about it? Are you going to put your foot into the uh, to the fire? Are right. you going to start putting your, your hands to the plow, as Grandpa used to say, to help people do better? Are you concerned with just your family, your side of town only? You don't care about the other side, side of town that's suffering, that, that need fixing up? Do you care about your whole community? Are you selfish? And that's the thing. I know it's hard words I'm saying, but you get to, you need to check yourself, brothers and sisters. I have a lot of friends on here on Facebook. I got a lot of people I went to school with. I, I know a lot of folk. But I want to say either put up or shut up. And I say this brother is positive. He's positive. He's trying to do something positive in the community. But a lot of times when you do positive things, people have something to say. They, they want to come at you in different ways. But if you want to be a solution to the problem, don't hinder somebody trying to do something good. Amen. Uh, we're going to continue. We got the radio. We, we, we lost a little signal. We're trying to connect with Facebook, but we're still bro able to broadcast on the radio. Uh, what are some other things, projects that you have you, you want to work on uh, during this this year? I mean, since we just starting off a late start to the summer, we can't be. Me, I like the president. Like, my team tell me all the time, slow down, slow down, because uh, I want to do so much. Man, uh, for talent shows. We got basketball tournaments we're trying to do, uh, gospel sang-offs, gospel explosion we're trying to do. We're trying to put a lot of things together. Good things, back to school things for the kids, you know, pass out book sacks, pencils, you know. Some of these just help out, let them know that we really care for them, you know what I'm saying? Show them that it's a different right. way than right. what they're being shown to, shown all the time. Like, right. Turn on the TV, it's violence, 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 right. violence, fight, 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 fight. I'm trying to steer their mind to a whole other thing to something positive right if you if you can catch if i can catch somebody's mind right before you know say at that age where you know that it's fresh uh -huh. it's easier you know what right. I'm it's easier so, right. much. And, and that's what i'm saying uh we got to create something if right. you take something away you got to create something right and if we don't create something for our people in the society right. we live in it's gonna die right. and uh so brothers and sisters we, we, we hear the mission statement. You see this brother just started his organization. Hey Amen. Nobody's asking you to to, uh, to sow your life savings. Right, but right. if you have a little bit. If I got $10, you got $10. The next sister brother got 10 We got $30, $40 together. If you got to sow 100 somebody else can sow 100 Somebody can sow 50 Then look right. what we got. We got that together. We can start opening up our own business. That's right. Man. Like, that's right. That's the only way we're going to make it if we help each other out. We can't just be, oh, I'm hating on him because he got this. Ask him how he got it. Right. School him. Right. Don't right. just be on some, oh, man, I don't hate him, yo, because right. he got this. I don't right. like him. You think he all that because he got that car. No, right. bro, it ain't about that. Right. We got to come together. Amen. Unify. That's it. one. Right. One. And that's what we've been talking about so much, unify, because the body we fall. Right. And we see that when us as a people, a culture, uh, separate ourselves from each other, we don't stand. Right. We, we don't stand a chance. We don't stand. I'm mad with you because you got a new car. I'm right. mad with you because you, go, you got a, your job promotion. That's instead it. Instead of being happy for you. That's and it. And so that's one thing we got to change your two brothers, our mind of thought. Everybody can have something at different times. We got seasons. Right. Everybody might not be your season to have a house. My buddy might be your season to have a car. Right. So every season, something different. But we got to come together and, and either we we gonna put up or we're gonna shut up. Right. And I just that's gonna might be my phrase from now, either put up or shut up. Because us as Christians, you know, we got a job to do. Us as Christians, we have more than just sit back and look at things. Mm -hmm. and, and and I can't do it by myself and you can't do it by right. yourself. We got to do it together. We got to do it together. And uh so y'all heard what we got going on, and I want to say uh, again, tell everybody about uh, uh, what's coming up in the next month or two coming up. What do you have event-wise or, or fundraiser-wise? Uh, fundraiser-wise, we just got the uh, play sale. Play, what was that? Play sale right now. We're just trying to take it step by step. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all a learning experience for me, my team, my staff, you know what I'm everybody involved. It's all a learning experience. So we're just trying to take it one one event at a time. Man. We ain't trying to really rush. Right, that's it. And, and so we want to support this brother. Do you have a, a contact? Do you have an email address where people can contact you or a number if they want to uh, help out with your organization? Yes, sir. You can, uh, 
pulling up. I got a fine ass on it. So much going on. Hey, Just bear this with me, bro. Young brother is working. Uh, this young brother is uh, going to school and a job and created an organization to try to help put back into the community. We are so excited uh, about young people trying to do something. This young brother, uh, under 30 years old, see what's going on in the community. I, I'm not gonna give his age, but the young brother, under 30 years old, see that is a, a difference need to be made in the right. community. And so he's gonna give you uh, contact if you want to support uh, this organization, if you want to uh, uh, be a help in any way, you want to hand out flyers, you want to come out and see what when the events are, come out and support, come out and get you a fish, a fish and chicken plate on the 4th of, uh, of August. Have a little music out there for y'all. A little music for Probably you. Have a little water balloon for the kids, you know. That's, that's, that's good, you know, we need that. And, and that's like uh, the old people used to do back in the day. You know, everybody knew each other, but they all did things together. Mm -hmm. Community cookout, right. you know, fellowship. So, man. And, and that's what we need to get back to because we we getting distance, further distance away from each other. Uh, as we live, we see a, a further distance between the culture and people. We got to bring that back together. All right, did you find your uh Yeah, you can just have my email address. Okay, here's the email address. He's going to give that to you. D-E-E-C-A-N-N-A-B-Y-2-6 at gmail.com. Okay, again, one more time. D-E-E-C-A-N-N-A-B-Y-2-6 at gmail.com. All right, amen. Hit me up on Facebook, Dorian Kennedy. Instagram gun down knowledge up. We got an Instagram now, so y'all follow that too as well. All right. They also have Facebook. Um, I'm a follower of the Facebook page, Guns Down Knowledge Up, and you can see that people are talking positive. Everybody ain't going to the bad. If there's right. somebody that still got compassion enough mm -hmm. and, and that, that are not selfish and want to see other people, he, he could be all by himself, but he, he sees that, that, that not only people that was close to him uh, were affected by the things that transpire in our life, but as well as his neighbors, our neighbors, we all neighbors, amen, regardless if you live in Lewisburg, Frankenton, Bond, Henderson, Wake Forest, Youngwood, right. Riley, uh, Wendell, Zebulon, wherever you are, you are neighbors, so wherever you are, you are important, just because we didn't, I didn't grow up with you, don't mean I don't have a care or compassion for you and what happened to mm -hmm. you in life, exactly. it's like when Princeville, Princeville had the, um, they had the flood, right, and, and, and my heart poured looking, out to them because, you know, uh, I, at I just had to have that compassion. People, right. uh, lives uh, uh, was, was turmoil and turmoil because of what happened. And, mm -hmm. and, and you know, what's, 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 uh, what it hurt to give up, give a few cans of food or something to somebody else. Right. And so that's what, that's what keeps us, man. That's what keeps us uh, grounded is, is helping out when we can. And I want you to help out. We're going to have another uh, interview. We're going to, we're going to have another interview. We spoke to have uh, Chris. Um, we supposed to have brother Chris here, Chris Neal. Um, he was not able to make it the time that we broadcast, but we promised that we're gonna try to have him. Uh, he's elected official because we going we we serious about what we're doing. This brother's serious about his organization. He's serious about serious, having wow. something for the kids to do, having a uh, maybe a sprinkler park or something. Uh, anything, anything, man. Something uh, start. Because I think uh, you mentioned the boys and girls club, and right. I think the boys and girls club yeah. cuts off at a certain age. Uh, how you doing, mother? People, people ride by. Hey, Amen. That's one of our old teachers riding by. See us out here. Um, we are uh, trying to do our best, and, and uh, that's why I connected with him because his brother is about the same thing, have the same intentions that I do about trying to transform the community. Right. And I believe that, and uh, we're gonna be ta uh, supporting him, whatever he can, whatever he can. He can get us to do and hand out flyers. I got some tickets, so y'all buy your tickets. I'm gonna get the ticket from the past. Uh, Eight dollars a ticket, and uh, come out and support. His money's going to a good cause, and, and uh, we're gonna try to have him on again. We got a lot. Of, we outside, y'all. So uh, bear with us. We got traffic coming by, but we are in the heart of downtown. As we look around, we see that. There's a need in the uh, south end of town, south across the, the bridge. We, we, we need a, a fixer up, we need businesses over there. We, we need uh, it's a big things. disconnect. There's a big disconnect in the community we live in, big disconnect. And one, they rezone it so that businesses don't uh, allow to uh, grow unless you put a grandfathered in. 
uh, if you had a business from way back, then you you know you're the only one allowed. But I tell you what, business in the community it, it only helps the community grow. So that's why we need to rethink our what we got going on in the community and try to revamp and redo and rethink our community. Right. Amen. We are thankful for this brother's time today. Amen. We we sitting here still trying to connect, but I think we're still broadcasting. I know on the, on the radio, guys. Listen, we're gonna be having this uh, discussion again on the Timmy Radio Show starting on Sunday night between the hours of seven and eight p.m. Right. Uh, anytime uh, you at home, uh, you can call in by your cell phone and you can still air live on the radio. So we'll try to do that. that. Yeah, we'll try to do that connect next like time. That. Yeah, we we'll connect like that. Um, I've interviewed uh, county commissioners here on the, on the radio. I've had Johnny uh, Clifton. He was running for county commissioner. Uh, I've had uh, a few others uh, here that have been on the show, and and, that, and, and you can do it out your home in acting. <laughs> so, but but just to be out here in the heat, you know this brother's serious about what he's doing, and uh, he needs some help, guys. And, and whatever you can do, follow the, follow the page. All help is needed. Y'all. All help, amen. All help is needed. So we want to try to help this brother as best way we can. Anything else you want to uh, share with the listeners before we uh-huh. sign off? I just want to. Reach out to y'all, man, to let y'all know, man. Positivity, I key on that a lot, because that is major, right? I don't know how, excuse me, a truck rhyme by y'all. I'm going to let this traffic flow. I'm going to get back to what I was talking to in a minute. Let this traffic flow up a little bit, man. What is this car doing? You can't park right now. Guys, we have a lot of traffic. We want to make sure you've been able to oh. hear. We want to make sure you're able to hear. We are trying to still connect. We're still trying to connect here in the view. But we're still live on the, uh, okay, on, okay. on the broadcast, radio but, broadcast. Yeah. I just try to spread positivity, man, throughout the whole community. Let y'all know, like... This world, this life, man, is bigger than, it's bigger than Lewisburg, yo. It's bigger than you can imagine. There's so much different stuff you can do, so many different avenues that we've been closed out from for so long, man. I'm trying to bring that to y'all insight and let y'all know that we can win, but we got to do it together. Like, it's got to be, it can't, it ain't, it ain't, I look at it like this. What is good as me if I know all the, all the information I know and nobody else know it? That's, that's, right. that's not, that's not building that's, that's right. selfish, you know that's what I'm right. saying? So if I know something, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna tell you. It's that's just right. how I am, man. Just remain positive and stay focused. Dream big. Or reach, try to reach your goals. Set goals where you can reach. Amen. And I know we're closing, you guys. I know we're closing. We had to do two parts, but as before we broadcast, me and the brother was talking about reading, reading. And my, I remember my mother always instilling us to read, read. My right. son, that's, read. That's read, major. Read. And so we get, the more we read, the more That's knowledge major. and wisdom we gain. Right. A lot of times, brothers don't we don't pick up books like we used to. Oh, we don't pick up at books all. at all, and, and so we don't get, gain that knowledge. But knowledge is key if for the survival. Wisdom, understanding mm-hmm. is key. If, if we are uh, want to survive, then we gotta have wisdom. We gotta have knowledge. Right. And I believe this brother is on the right track. Again, get at us on uh, the social media, this radio broadcast. We're gonna have him back on uh, at another time. And also, we're going to invite you to tune in to his uh, Facebook page, Guns Down, Knowledge Up. God bless you, and thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, brother. No problem. Have a blessed day, bro. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you guys at another time. Her 
rappers with full clips who pull quick and teach your kids to believe in this bull ish. The heart of the city beats for these thieves in these corporates while they leaders run around for their facetious indulgence. It's a vicious cycle while you sit through it and observe. Like a Bob Doppler standing from helicopters. I'm in remorse, birds, 45s and 22s. Ain't got no kind of clue, monkey, see, monkey, goof. But monkey, black monkey, who? I heard you quick to brag, I'm pulling the triggers, but who's the one that's been pulling you? Young-minded, so your lack of experience is up tight And now you run around the streets like you're bulletproof But uh-huh, there's two shots passed, just final column Now you drop it, calling on oh God, cause the sky's falling So ashes to dust, earth back to the universe Comes in thirds and you see that by the time it's watching The got one, the cops, they got one No favorite rapper got one You need to put down that gun You need to put down that gun And then the kids say the president got one, my teacher got one, my favorite rap star got one. Put down that gun, you need to put down that gun. Bang, bang, bang. Bang is how it goes. Some blast from in the sense to creep the crest through the windows. And all your boys drop a dash as fast as the wind blows. And you're the only cat to see the less of your kids Woke up and then smoke. Now you say you's a menace, dog. A he seeker sweep the streets, spin on some bitches, God. The kind of cat who bring the reaper to a renaissance until you call the beat and that devil exactly what he wants. Now, it's like 360 degrees. And the future's predetermined by future's previously. And you can see the story on any TV you three immediately is the media sees it to be in the same old cycle, repetitive cycle. Shoots his wife, his kids, and then himself with a rifle. So that's why I'm holding close to mine, cause when I go, it's gonna be on both feet, like in this mind, like a rifle. Say the president got one, the cops, they got one, your favorite rapper got one. You need to put down that gun. That's it right there. I mean, that was the first time, y'all, I was able to hear that um, interview. I didn't play it back. I didn't watch it back on Facebook. And, you know, for the first time interviewing in a, in a long time and also first time him and I, uh, I think it went pretty well. We gonna we was trying to get the brother on tonight uh, by way of uh, telephone, but we couldn't get to, couldn't connect tonight. But um, either way, man, we still we still going to continue to push. We're still going to get the words out, guns down, knowledge up. And wisdom is knowledge is the key. And brothers and sisters, guns is not the answer. You know, you, you love your brother as yourself. The Bible speaks about us loving thy neighbor as thyself. So your brother, your sister that are in your surroundings are your neighbor. Amen. So don't, don't kill your brother. Don't kill your sister. Let us also show our young people a generation to come behind us. Let's leave them something. Amen. Let's leave them some knowledge and wisdom and some love and some unity. Amen. That's what we got to do. That's what we have to do. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Listen, we got weather coming up in just a little bit and a little bit more announcements, I think. So just stay tuned and we'll be right back. <laughs> come on, we worshiping all night tonight. So I hope you're comfortable. Uh, come on, let me hear you. Let me hear you. You make me happy. You make me whole. You take the pain away. I'm so in love with you. You make me happy. You make me whole. You take the 
brothers and sisters we are back we are back in effect we're just so thankful to be back on one more time i think we'll go with the weather forecast real quickly all right tonight low at 73 degrees and chance of thunderstorm uh later on this evening tuesday partly cloudy high of 94 with a low of 73 wednesday partly cloudy skies high of 91 with a low of 73 thursday partly cloudy have 70 uh 93 mm. 
with a low of 75. Friday, chance of rain and thunderstorm, high of 92 with a low of 72. Saturday, chance of rain and thunderstorm, high of 85 with a low of 70. And Sunday, chance of thunderstorm, high of 89 degrees with a low of 68 degrees. And that's your seven-weekday forecast. Listen, brothers and sisters, I tell you right now, uh, we are just getting geared up again. We got so much that we have going on. Um, but we do want to welcome and also invite each and every one of you on this uh, Saturday evening at 7 o'clock for Healing Word Ministry and Cutting Word Ministry ordin ordination service will be held at the Lewisburg College Chapel. And uh, our ordination speaker will be Apostle Michael Branch out of Cutting Word, uh, Long Island, New York. And uh, so we're so excited about the two women of God that's getting ready to get licensed, amen, to continue the work of, of Jesus Christ, amen, to being just a, a servant unto the Lord, to share the gospel and the good news, to help, amen, someone know more about who he is, because we are witnesses. We can t uh, testify that he lives within us and that he has made ways out of no way, amen. So we are just so honored that we will be... Uh, witnessing what god is doing uh we will have my lovely wife amen evangelist carol acreage and also prophetess annette branch glory be to god and then we'll have a host of singers and also keyboardists amen so we are praying that more will call and say hey i want to be a part of it if you uh, play an instrument and just want to come in because if you got musical talent, I just believe you can play with anybody. And I tell you, we, we just want to just lift up the name of Jesus and what he's, amen, did for us. we just so thankful. So again, that's July the 29th at 7 p.m. at the Lewisburg College Chapel. We want to welcome everyone to come out to uh, this occasion, amen. A lot of people said they was coming so we're just praying that a lot of people will come and show up, amen, and have a great time in the name of the Lord. And we're just so thankful. But we want you to know we love you here at the TMA Radio Broadcast. On behalf of my wife and myself and the Healing Word Ministry, we love you and we thank God for you. If you worship with us, we thank you so much for just coming in and worshiping with us. And we pray that something said through the service, something shown, the love shown, bless you in a mighty way. We're going to continue the broadcast. I think we got about two more songs before we get out of here. I don't think I have another announcement, but if I find one, I'm going to tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. All right. We'll be back with more.
All right, brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed tonight, man. If you missed the uh, interview, once again, you can go back after the broadcast is finished and check it out. Listen, share this uh, radio broadcast on your Facebook page. We encourage each and every one that do tune in for the first time to follow me on this uh, Spreaker, please. Spreaker.com. Spre- please follow me. And become a follower. We just believing for over a thousand uh, followers before the new year comes in, and I know we just gonna be able to do it somehow. But anyway, we love you. We thank God for you. Meet us here on tomorrow night between seven and eight p.m. for Tuesday night, and hopefully we'll be able to tune in to the Circle Below Prayer Partners Prayer Line. Amen. They have a speaker tomorrow, and I didn't have the name. Oh, Evangelist Linda Ellis is the founder. Uh, creator of the Circle of Love Prep Partners and we are definitely want to support and we thank God for her and the organization that she has, the Circle of Love Prep Partners for sponsoring us here on the TMA Radio Broadcast and we've had plenty of previous uh, people that sold into this ministry some that uh, said they were but have not yet send their uh, donations into this broadcast. We're trying to go somewhere, you know. It's in so many times people get to talking to their own selves and and doing this and doing that, you know. But we thank God for the just the the two or three that continue to sow into this ministry, this online radio ministry. But you know, it takes thousands of people or people or a few people with thousands of dollars because what we're trying to do is build a a radio platform into a point where we have a whole staff of people where we cover areas in North Carolina, not just here in the Franklin County area, but everywhere. And also uh, have different preachers on and have a, a building where people can come in and be live and we do it. And it's all start with a dream and all starts with a, a passion. And I have the passion, I have the dream, I have, amen, the vision. And so that's what we're going to continue to do until we can get where we need to go. We're going to keep uh, striving to do it. Amen. But I do thank those that did that do give. Amen. Because much is going to give, be given back to you. Whatever measure you sow. Amen. And we'll return back. And we thank God for the woman of God that continue to sow into this radio ministry. God bless each and every one of you. And have a wonderful night. And we'll see you on tomorrow. Oh